You may have seen this tweet recently from Logan.gpt. He's a great guy, DevRel at OpenAI, and was asking what you wanted in a tutorial about the new OpenAI API in 30 minutes. But do you know what? I think we at Replit can do it in less. In fact, our head of legal put this challenge down. And yes, I think I can get it done in less than 10 minutes. So I replied with this. Yes, that's right. I think I can do it in just three minutes, going from nothing to a completely working open AI app in three minutes. Head of legal challenged me. So let's do this thing. Let's build an open AI app in three minutes or less. Now, no big surprise, I'm going to be using Replit for this because we can leverage their new OpenAI templates to get up and running really, really quickly. I'm also going to go and get my OpenAI API key in advance, and that's by going to the OpenAI website, going to account and getting your API key. This will speed things up when I actually get there. What about the actual app I'm going to build? Because I'm not just going to connect the API and go, oh, happy days, I can talk to ChatGPT. I've been playing with this prompt recently. This is something I found on Twitter for creating a completely customized tutor bot. Now, this prompt does very well, but has a few drawbacks. So I'm going to mix it up and change it a little bit. The first thing that I found with the prompt is that it does like to brag about how it's doing the stuff behind the scenes. So let's stop that. Let's tell it to stop moaning about the grade level. Sometimes it also likes to give the answer before you've had a chance to respond. So I'm going to try and stop it doing that. And finally, Sometimes it does like to bomb through and ask about three questions in a row. So I'm going to ask it to just do one question at a time. With my prompt setup that should allow me to make my interactive tutor and my open API key and access to Replit, I think I'm good. Three minutes on the clock, please. Thank you. Three, two, one, and let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to create a REPL. I'm going to pick the open AI template with the GPT 3.5 Turbo and create. Okay, put my OpenAI key in, paste that into the secrets and add it whilst everything else is loading and open my main.py. Now, most of the stuff I need is already here, but I'm gonna jump in before the response because I'm going to pop in the prompt. Now, I'm gonna ask the user for their topic, which is, well, <laughs> which is what I'm gonna do first. Ask the topic. I'm going to probably strip that actually to make sure I haven't got any random spaces or anything. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to create the prompt. And the prompt has to be in a message, which is OpenAI's new format. It's basically an array of dictionaries. One of the elements needs to be the role system in this case. That's the um, chatbot. And the content is going to be, I'm just going to paste in here, the prompt. Now I'm going to use an F string. Let's get that prompt in. I'm going to use an F string here to, re to change the name of what I'm learning about to what the user's typed in. And boom, I've got the prompt. Now this entire chunk down here, oh no, best do this first. So I'm gonna set a variable called first, which is gonna be false, and I'm gonna use an infinite loop to do the chat process. I'm gonna say if first is true, uh, then I'm going to show the prompt for a question from the user, take input, and I'm gonna create a message and append it to the array of messages. This time, the dictionary, uh, <laughs> the role is gonna be, um, oh my goodness me, what am I doing? Uh, Okay, the role is going to be the user. Let's get rid of that. Let's put a colon in. There we go. And the content of the message is going to be the question. So we're basically building up this entire chat history, and this allows um, ChatGPT's API to maintain an understanding of what's going on. But that's only going to happen after the first prompt. Okay. Um, let's make first equal to true, so it only happens uh, the first time. We skip that the first time. And then I'm going to get rid of all this stuff in here, and I'm going to make messages equal to the message variable. That bit now sends, oh, we've got a minute left. That bit sends the message to ChatGPT, the entire chunk of the messages. Right, let's go. Content, let's get that from the response. Now I know how this is this is structured. It's in the choices part of the JSON. Uh, it's in index zero. Uh, then it is, oh my goodness me, messages, a message, sorry, and then content. And that'll pull out the text of the content of the response. Um, I'm gonna strip that because sometimes it comes in with extra spaces and, and new line characters. Uh, and print, let's change that. Let's make it an F string and let's print out um, the content. There we go. Uh, next line, come on, come on, 23 seconds, come on. Uh, we're gonna add to the messages array then that item. So we're gonna append it in the same format as before. We're gonna make the role. This is the system, of course. This is the message that came back from the bot and um, the content's going to be the content. Um, and that should then allow the message history to keep getting sent back to open API a few seconds. Oh, I've missed, I've missed, missed the curly brace. Come on, I can do it. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, 
So, I did it in less than three minutes. Not much less than three minutes, it has to be said. 0.9 seconds less than three minutes. But actually, in a significantly smaller amount of time than even Logan.GPT said he'd do. Um, I really admire this guy, by the way. He's a really good guy. I'm taking the mickey, but with Replit, we only need three minutes to build an actual functioning GPT-3 app. Probably worth checking it works, so let's click run. And it's going to prompt us what we want to learn about. Um, uh, uh, the Battle of Waterloo, something from history, something I wouldn't know much about. Okay, ask the question, let's answer it. Hey, so it's working. It's a constantly prompting and learning bot and constantly adjusting the level of learning and the text it's given us based on our understanding and our ability to ask questions. We've gone and built a universal tutor bot using the new ChatGPT API in less than three minutes. That's really pretty cool. And actually, if I stick this behind a paywall now, I could probably start monetizing it. What I'll actually do is open source it for you guys because you've seen me build it. Follow the link below to my REPL where you can fork it, add your own API key and get using it. You can ask this to teach you about anything and it will quiz you and adjust its understanding as it goes. Now, all this is made possible through two things. The first is OpenAI's new ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo API, which significantly reduces the cost of calling this API. I think it's like one tenth of the cost, but also has a new messages format. And that's just an array of dictionaries that contain the history of the conversation. Now, you have to keep sending this entire history back to the API every time you add to it, which is why we had to have in that loop, which is why we had to have that appending going on. But it is an actual really neat and efficient way to continue a conversation and keep ChatGPT aware of everything that's been going on. Of course, we prompted it in advance with a quite a complex prompt, but the winning part of this for me is Replit's OpenAI templates, where we can go from absolutely no code to a connected up open API GPT-3 3.5 turbo app in seconds. And all we need to do from there is customize it. Why don't you give it a go yourselves, see what you can do with it, post your bots in the comments down below so other people can see what you've done and what you've been up to. Thanks to Logan.GPT for the inspiration. And hey, maybe we can work together sometime. Except he doesn't know who I am or that I exist. <laughs>